What's up YouTube? This is G-Man right here again. And basically, I saw this new lighting and I was like, "Wow, this looks pretty cool." So I'm like, I'm using it for this video. I might I don't know how many more videos I'm going to use it for, but I'm definitely using it for this one, as you can see. I see I got this little black blanket here. It's not really black, it's maroon. And then here's what it looks like behind me and you know, it's just a blanket back here. Um helps to bring emphasis to me the person telling the video story whatever and besides I'm just using the light straight off my computer screens I've got two computer screens here which by the way I have to show you you've got to see this right here okay look it's a pretty cool little setup all right oh look at this look at this see that how do you like that picture I put that one together a couple of years back most all of it the uh, right here that's original you know Smallville Clark right there is original but I added these two Superman you know Christopher Reeves and Brandon Ruth and it's a pretty cool little picture I think let me know what y'all think so anyways yeah 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 here's the other here's the other computer see I got two computer setups here and that cool yeah that that's that's how it that's how it goes for me and that's my bed you're looking at right now but uh, that that's how it works and um, so anyways new topic real quick I'm only going a minute 37 seconds into this video so let's talk a little bit more have you ever thought about this how thick the Bible is okay a lot of people want to totally dismiss the Bible without ever even having studied very much of it at all and they my Bible has 17 uh, let me see 1,700 over 1,700 pages in it from Genesis to the last uh, p page of Revelation and most people haven't studied their Bible at all now that right there it and they want to dismiss it okay uh, they have never studied it some of them have never read it and I think that they are missing out personally there's so much in here okay to study there's so much in this book to study you see that it's like why would you why would you study anything else to try to find out what the truth is there's so much to study right here you see why would you reach in other areas it consists of 66 books okay which were written over over a couple of thousand year period and and shoot I actually believe that Genesis the book of Genesis was written was was the earliest book of Gen was the earliest book that was written I believe that Moses didn't actually write Genesis I believe that he was the editor of Genesis and however the uh, the rest of the five books that are attributed to Moses I believe that he did write them with the exception of the part where he talks about himself being dead or whatever um anyways you know you got and it breaks down into books that were written by men who had experiences that none of us none of the other none of the rest of us had and not only were these experiences unique but they were also very similar to one of a, to one another you know the they all deal with the same god that has that claims to have power over the universe so with same God who created everything and it, it all has a coherent theme to it it all ties together I'm telling you okay if you understand what Genesis teaches if you can understand the book of Genesis the first 11 chapters especially man that is key that is key to understanding the rest of the Bible and being able to know what the Bible teaches. If you can understand that, then you can go back to Revelation, read Revelation chapter 9, where it says, wait a second, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Read Revelation chapter 9, where it says, and they had hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as teeth of lions, and they had breastplates as it were of breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. 
and they had tails like unto scorpions, and they were sting, and there were stings in their tails, and their power was to hurt men for five months. Okay, now you can go back and read that, and you can put it together. These are creatures that come out of the ground that the Bible teaches about. I might actually make a full video on this some point, okay? That the Bible teaches that, that come out of the ground. And this is going to happen during the seven-year tribulation, okay? The seven-year tribulation that will happen after the rapture is to take place. These creatures will come out of the ground and they will feed upon upon the flesh people who like to put a lot of symbolic symbolism into it but whenever you go back and you understand what the original Genesis book of Genesis has to say you know are you gonna add symbolism to that are you gonna add symbolism to this how much of the Bible can be interpreted by symbolism my opinion is that not not much of it should be interpreted by symbolism and if you use symbolism to interpret anything it's a it usually amounts to a symbolic feature that has to do with that that comes out to be a literal idea symbolism is used to present a literal idea which goes back to the literal interpretations of the bible okay anyways i gotta cut this off y'all it's gotten too long already i hope y'all enjoy it maybe if it's in if it's interesting or whatever um i will be taking y'all and making a, another video again later y'all have a good day Bye.